<laughs> the name is already cunts. Hello and welcome to Manor Lords. We're finally here uh, with my girlfriend in the background sleeping, so I'll be quiet as possible. Here we are. We have a tiny little town. Let's get out of this nice cinematic camera here, which I will use to great effect. We are Sir Cunts. Let's take a look at our region here. I've been trying to learn a little bit. As you can tell from the montage, after you reach the next settlement level, you will be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. Okay. To enact policies, you need to rise your administration level by building administration buildings like the Manor. Okay. So, straight away, we need to build stuff. But it looks like we can harvest berries. Hunting grounds. Production, okay. So let's pause this. I'm learning still. We could check our guys and look at what they are capable of, I think. Nope, just look at them. See, this is their homeless tents. So let's see what we can build. Logging, woodcutter, saw pit, forester, hunting, and forager. I think we're going to want these two. This is berries and wild animals. Okay, so we'll put this one down first. And we have eight logs. Is that the front of it? Yep. So we'll put that there. Alright. Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Alright. Timber transportation. Timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the ox when they need it. Okay. So this is our timber supply. And it takes one log to go get that done. Let's see them do it. You can see that's our ox cunts. He was given this name automatically, by the way. So he's going to grab that old log. Drag it along here. Meanwhile, we'll pause that real quick and see if we can't build them some houses. This is mining, logistics, granary, storehouse, pack station, hitching posts, residential, for a single family or two families when expanded, a well, 
Must be built over underground water. Do I know where underground water is? Here. There's some. Am I not allowed to build that? There. I think it has to connect like that, though. Why is it not? Not let me build it. Hmm. Underground water overlay. Oh, okay. So it has to be over here. Alright, well that's naturally going to be the start of our town right there. Church, we don't need. Farming. Field, farmhouse, pasture, sheep farm, windmill, communal oven, industry, we're not going to need. Trade. Trading post. We will build that first. We can start with this. I think we'll put that there. Okay, so we have to place a logging camp before we run out of wood. Well, human workforce has a, been a, has to be assigned by default. Livestock work, workforce is shared between workplaces. Okay. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Okay. We may as well have this guy over here. And we'll let them get to work. Now, this generic storage pack station granary. Okay. Cosmetic shrines. We can erase shrubbery. Okay. Let's see this guy built. So, I don't know how good this PC, this new PC, is going to be at handling this game, but so far, so good. I only had a frame drop when this old cow picked up that, that log. So, let's see what happens if he does it again. And so, you see, he brought it there, and the workers get to work. It's pretty unique. These guys are just digging the spot, flattening the ground. That's good. Old Grethlin. Hans. Thomas, getting to work. I like that it's not this guy just throwing the log on his shoulder and get it going. Awesome. Living space. We have zero. Approval, 50%. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. And they're getting the logs from here. Little bits of lumber. In almost all cases, resources and main alerts have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed. Okay, now I'm I'm watching it slow speed because this is this is some good good. Look at that. Just getting it done. I'm glad you got the log post done first. So this should be done. Building has no assigned family. Select it and assign a family whenever you'd like to start production. So we assign a family. Alright, and there's 50 stored spaces for the pantry. Demolish, relocate. Okay. We could pin it on the side if we'd like. Pin. Can we drag it while it's pinned? I guess it don't matter. Alright, so that's good. So he and his family are now assigned to being foragers. Hunrad should go and grab some berries. I gotta tell you though, my old computer would not have played this game very well at all. It probably wouldn't have played it at all. So I'm very happy to see that it can on this game. Even at what I'd consider not the best possible graphics. It's still pretty good. Lord cuts stairs from above. Now, can I rename this? Yes. We're not a town yet. We're only a burg. We need to. We need to grow into a town. We can become kind of town. So this should be enough for these people to live in. Five families.
Okay. And the trading post, trading post is getting done. So we have 10 tools, 20 stone, 0 planks, 0 timber. Some berries now. These guys have gathered. And then we also have some firewood. Let's see, do we need to build anything pertaining to a fire? Corpse pit, well, a burgage plot. Family requests more market area for their stall. We don't have a market. Oh, okay. Some buildings have flexible borders. Place four points to designate an area. The cursor will snap to roads and buildings to try to create an organic shape. Okay. So, why don't we build some roads? Some places allow villagers to use handcarts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a handcart off road is extremely slow, so make sure to connect your buildings by road. Okay. So we can add some curvature by holding control and doing that. Okay. Place road point, connect point. Well, if that's the center of town here, I'd like to ideally get to That's where he's gonna go. Then that should be good. Yep, yeah, like that. And then we'll get this to go over here. And the same will go kind of around from here. Actually, no, I want it to round off a little bit. Okay, now we have options to put the marketplace in. So it seems to force you to place it in certain plots, but you have a choice. We'll do that, like that. Okay. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically, as long as there's enough space on the market. Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Burgage plots closest to the market get their market requirements full fulfilled first. Okay. So we'll ideally have our people living down this road here. We'll build a road from here like that. I want all of it to connect up, and as this is free, we may as well. Yeah, like that. And the the, hum the people, humans, the people will live in here. I've been playing too much Songs of Six. So, uh, this marketplace is obviously very small for the start, but we'll probably adjust that and move it over here when we can get these almost tents out of the way. So they'll get to doing that. It's a market, little, tiny little marketplace. Three stall locations. Three. Okay. Now, is anyone assigned here? Okay, people advanced. Okay. Alrighty, that seems to be pretty obvious, and they're almost done with the trading post here. That'll be great, and then we can actually connect our main road up to the side road here. Beautiful. Trading post. It's ready, we'll put a family in here. So generic storage pantry. People. Advanced. Trade. 
Root required. So we don't have a root. Let's let them build that. Oh, wait. What do you mean? No trade. We import full trade. Export flags. Import. Okay, so things like that. Berries. Export desired surplus. Let's say 20. Right? Current surplus, 3. Anything over 20, establish a trade route. After paying to establish a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only the specific type of good. 18. We have zero dollars. So we'll just turn that off. And actually, take this family out of there. Alright. Let's play the game again. So we have create new units. We can create a militia, spear militia, full arm militia, or archer militia. Oh, militia footmen, I should say. Okay, you created your first militia. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militias. They will then try to be find the required equipment and weapon and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of armor and body armor and helmet depends on the villager's residential level. After bring... Oh, okay their value. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the units recruit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Okay. Okay. Well, we don't have people, so let's not do that. I think I accidentally clicked that. That's what happened. So these guys will get that logging camp done, and then they'll get this well done as well. And then I can start assigning spots for houses. I think ideally we'll have one, two, three, two, one, oh, two, like that. They'll live in here. Well, actually, why don't we leave have them on the sides? One, two, one, two, three. And there's space for here. The guys who live and work in this area will have close access. Or we could do one, two, three, four. Okay. Mercenary companies. Okay, this... Family owns a market stall. If you unassign them, the mark will have to be taken over by someone else. Okay. He's building that stall. Stall is getting constructed. Can I clear this? Is there a way to clear all that? Thank you. Alright, so we have the logger camp. I'm going to put two families here so we have a ton of storage. Unlimited work area. That should be fine. And then livestock will probably just assign one here because... Actually, I don't know if that technically counts. I think that if we assign the livestock here, he won't go do other jobs. So I would rather not. Construction food stall. We've got the food stall ready to go. Let's see, does it accurately depict what's inside there? Also, let's make sure that the V-Sync... Oh, it did not save. Did that... There we go. That felt weird. I knew something was off. It was dang, dang old V-Sync. So, this has nothing inside. So, the guy who works here transporting berries... He's a woodcutter. The walk, dude. Oh my god. The detail, look at you, Hans. <laughs> this is what gaming is all about. This is exactly what I was looking for. Definitely getting a review, positive review for me. You spat in my face, that's what he said. A new message. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal, Hildebolt von Ber Berenroot. Right back. You have no rightful claim to sell this. Negotiation. I have silver for my endeavors. I require silver for my endeavors. So this is... I don't want to... I don't want him to be, like, pissed off. I require silver for my endeavors. 
can't even, I need some influence. So I guess I have to call him out, dude. I didn't want to send him a mean old letter, though. Especially if there's, like, outlaws and stuff, I want to be friendly with them. This is a different world we're living in here. Okay, let's start the city right here. And as you can see, look at that. You can literally just, like, actively zoom out. So that's our clay deposit is rich. I think I've had the option up to actually see a display, but it disappeared. I think I had it up when I was looking at an overlay for the well. Oh, okay, so it was... Oh, we just did something else. We brought up the other question mark. So we can do emmer fertility, barley, rye, smell. <laughs> so rye fertility, flax fertility, emmer. So emmer is pretty, pretty useful. Now, I don't know food very well. But I think we should probably just get a hunter. This hunter guy here. Free relocation. No construction costs. Workers hunt wild animals and produce. Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Why don't you just put you right in here? He's gonna have to walk into the woods, but that's not too bad. It's not too far. Dude, I am absolutely in love with this game. I have never experienced something so grand. All my days. We have two timber now. We can build our first house. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We need a real house here. So that will be kind of the distance. We want them to kind of get into the tree line there. They have access to making their own food. So. Oh, it automatically puts those plots. Oh. Oh. Not enough goods. Okay. Well, as I'd like to have enough goods, we're just going to wait. And actually assign one more family here. I'd like to get enough timber before the... Yeah, okay. I'd like to have enough timber before we get there. To spring. Or uh, summer, I mean. Not summer, why am I stupid? Um, autumn and winter. We will have time. Crops grow, possible droughts. We can survive the first season with ten guys hunting and gathering. No doubt in my mind. We've got six berries already. And after we've got all of our stuff done. Actually. It seems smarter now to actually put more people doing that. Can I expand this? Coming soon. Soon. I guess not. Kinda wish that you could. There we go. Oh, church is definitely like on the top of my list and it's gonna go like on the hill right here. Yeah. Church. Church has gotta go right here. Can I leave it, like, I wish you could build the actual, like, frame of it without actually building it. No, you can't. Okay, we've got the hunting camp now. So we gotta put another worker in here. Hunt limit, yes. Okay, good. He won't hunt everything. Hunting is a little scarier, as if you kill an animal, they obviously don't come back immediately. Now, let's see, can we see? Oh my god. They are here. Even if they walk through each other, they just clip through each other. They are here, at least. That's what I like to see, brothers. Alright, how are you guys doing? Two families there. We've got five assigned. Alright, we can speed up time a little bit. How much wood do we get? Chopping down that tree. Old Thomas debranching it. And 
then he's gonna have to get a old ox on it. Why don't we invest in putting the livestock here for right now? Now, will he go there? No, he's not gonna. Okay, so we have four. We get two per go there. Alright. Go grab that other log. Perfect. It's nice that it's actually playing very smoothly on uh, quick speed as well. And they've got the animal. Let's actually slow that down. So he's got the animal there. Killed. Dragged it over here. Ditz and his companion. Or her companion. I think Ditz is a female. I wish you could see them like up close, like click on their character sheets. So you cut all that. Oh, I think there's a little glitch there where it disappeared. Let's see, how many animals are left? 17, he's already killed two. But they've got leather storage now. Look at that. They put the meat in there. He's got his bow. The talking and the little like bits of jabber, like, or uh, fucking what's it called? Thomas, those are good too. I like them. Thomas is there. Where's our boy? Here he is. I like that you can find him this way. They definitely need a feature to like be able to follow him. That berry bushes, man. Walking with a purpose. Walking with anger. We are at 36. We need a total of 10, so we will speed up time until we get there. Let's check on our food. 29 berries. That's what I like to see. And this marketplace, there's space for 24 stalls. That's perfect. Exposed goods. Goods stored here are vulnerable to weather damage and need to be moved to a storehouse. Exposed goods pantry. Oh, okay. Our I see. So let's actually build the storehouse. I don't want it to click. I want it to like be free here. So I feel like I can get it in here nicely. Like that. There we go. Bring that back a little bit. Connect it in there. Perfect. That's what I need to see. Alright, we will not have homeless people in the winter, I promise. I feel like he's still hunting very quickly, but it's okay. We'll speed up time here. And we'll give the animal back to the general population. There we go. You grab that and go bring it. Alright, we need just one unassigned family to do the job. Actually, we'll do that for now. That way this job will get done. I know the well is very far away too. But, that's okay. We'll probably have to put a road here. Oh, that looks so good. The birds! They flew well they flew overhead. The storehouse is complete. So we can store goods here. People advanced everything. Store it here. It's not really that many items. Surprisingly easy, so I think Crops, barley, and flax. Okay. Malt. It's made from the other resource there. So let's take a look at barley fertility. Barley here. Of course, we have built our house on the fertility zone. But actually, could theoretically put it over there. So this... Ooh, sheep farm. 
must be first imported from the livestock trader. Okay. Farmhouse used to employ families on the field. Farm workers plow the fields as soon as the winter passes, but not no later than November. Okay, I think that's much later. Okay. That's fine. I don't need I don't need that stuff yet. Surprisingly a lot of stuff though. Roof tiles. Different types of fertilizer. Alright. I'll set another guy in here so that we can just get that those logs done and then we'll speed up time. I want to see how it looks on full speed. Looks pretty good. Looks like they're building a stall for the hunter. Nope. For the other berry? Nope. Who built the actual stall? The storehouse. Firewood. So we have food as well as firewood stall. Yeah, they should be putting those goods away. Correct? You guys gathering all that stuff? Oh no, I don't think... Accepted goods. There's no option for food. Storehouse is a granary. Pack station, so... What the fuck? I think we need to use this here as well. Yeah, you need to be moved to a granary. Alright, well, let's see. Can we get a nice granary in here? A good old granary here. Alright, put the road on. And then I need to get a family to do that job. Dang. We need more families. I'm actually gonna drop these guys for a second. So they can get this done. Mercenary companies available. Can you not do that? Thank you. I guess you can't click it. I want to get the food covered. As it's probably rapidly degrading. Pantry is full. Forager hut. Oh, okay. Yep, that's about right. Oh, that's 12 times speed. Not 3 times. Got the 10 timber. No, the rain is actually killing me. Get the building done, brothers. Alright, they should move that. Correct. Grab it. And now... The final part of our little village here. Build our houses. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Give them equal land. And we can assign a family for right now so they can get that done. Keep those guys there. Alright. Let us watch as the houses get completed. 
burgage plot. And they should grow their own crops here as well. Wait, why does it say we only have one timber? Excuse me? Oh, it's sowing. It, like, what after? This is actual. That is a nice house. I would live there. go. The first, the first burgage. Alright, homeless will move to the plot and if approval is high enough, they might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check on their residential requirements. Construct a backyard expansion. Water access. Church level. Fuel stall supply. Food stall supply. Ornaments, general, people. Okay, so the forager lives here. Ideally, we'll build houses closer over here. We'll probably put some houses here, too. Oh, no, that's actually good farmland, so we, we won't do that. Fire sale. We've got a fire sale. Pretty soon we can remove these dang old tents. And we're in April. Pretty good. Still in spring. We have plenty of food. How many animals do we have? 17. That's good. So they're still growing. And we've got 16 months of food and fuel. That's perfect. Second burgage ready. And also, I wanted to check. We can build a vegetable garden, a chicken coop, or a goat shed. Provides passive yield of eggs. Allows growing vegetables. Requires plowing and harvesting labor. Yields. Okay, why don't we try... It says that we need a supply. What is it that it's asking for, though? 25 of something was spent. Regional wealth approval. I have no clue what I spent to get that. But we have chickens. So that's good. I have no clue what I just put into the, to doing that. Is it free? Okay. Unlocks new extensions, including artisan workshops. Residential requirements will increase. Requirements. Oh, I see. So the requirements for this area are higher because of... Okay. But now am I... I'm not being told exactly, like... I feel like certain things are missing here. <laughs> That's okay, because this game is really good. Alright, let's get full speed so that we can finish this town. Beautiful. The last house. And then people can get back to jobs. How's our granary? 71. Alright. Interesting, they chose a different color house. Different styles, too. Alright. So we've got resources added to the inventory. 20 in the storehouse, and we got a new message. A strong militia is, a militia is paramount to survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. 
Let's form the militia. To get more population, you need to have enough empty burgage plots and your approval needs to be over 50%. Okay. So army. Create new units. What kind of weaponry did we just obtain? I think it actually physically has to get into our town. What are those? Those are small shields here. Large shields and spears. Okay, so that's these guys right here. Okay. Recruits missing. There's 10 out of 36. Okay, this gives us an interesting little menu there. We can put our loggers back. And we put a hunter back. And then we can just keep going for that. Family members join one of the settlers. Burgage plot one. Okay. So we got 15 more people, or 5 more people. We have 5 level 1 families, 10 men, 5 women. Okay, so their family grew. They brought them here, they said, hey look, this place is pretty cool. Why don't you come in here? These guys are making chickens. Oops, I did not mean to zoom out that far, but I like that it says Huntberg. <laughs> That's very funny. So they're making eggs. My question is, where exactly are you putting them? Okay, they're right there in your pantry. Now, this family theoretically should get a marketplace spot. I hope. Oh, well, looks like you could just put whatever at the food stall. All right, timber, stones, we have 10 more stones, so let's see what we could craft. Mining, stone cutter, camp. Nearby stone deposits. We have a stone deposit over here. It's 160. That makes me think that there's not unlimited stone deposits, and we'll have to take other people's I hope that it's not 160 total stones, because that would be absolutely ludicrous. Residential. So the tavern need a bit of a drink. So could I. needs ale. Okay, and this one will just give faith. But we need cut logs. Industry. Smithy. Bloomery. Clay. Malt. Tanner. Weaver. And dyer. The tanner here turns hides into leather. And then our trade here, we have livestock trading post. Administration, we need a manor. Residence of you and your retinue. So in order to get that, we need some actual stone and some cut uh, logs there. Let's see, where is the actual option for the... You'd think it'd be right here, right? This is smithy, bloomery, clay. Mall, tannery. What? What? Where does one theoretically cut logs? Saw pit. That's where they cut the logs. Oh, we need more logs. That's the only reason why we can't build it. Alright, well, that's fine. We have finished... Wait, two months of fuel. Excuse me? Timber into planks. Forester's hut. How do I get... Firewood. Okay, yeah. We'll have him be chilling here. Although I kind of want him to be able to get access to the main road here. So we'll put him in the back. Like 
that. And then kind of hug this like that. Perfect. We'll have to pull a worker from somewhere. We need that. We need that woodcutter. They got the little outhouse in the back. They got the chickens. Chicky chicks. And they have names. Christina and Dorothea. Nice. Unassigned families needed for construction. Okay. So. Storehouse. We need. Greenhouse. We need. This hunting we can remove for now. And that way we can get that. Going. And the food, the firewood, will be set. Oh, he has a little hand cart. I didn't know he had that. I guess it comes with the granary. Oh, it comes with the storehouses and everything. Let's see what he gets. He went inside there. There's nothing on it, but that's okay. He's gonna bring it. And you can see there's some berries, there's some bread, and there's some meat hanging from this firewood here. Eventually, I'm sure they'll put the berries inside the the cart. It's still, still pretty early for the game. And we got two more timber, so we can actually make the saw pit as well. May as well put it right here. Like so. We've got a woodcutter lodge. Oh wait, we'll wait for a second. So that technically we're good. We've got two more logs as well. We'll let them keep gathering logs. You can see they're actually deforesting this area too. Which is crazy. This area is getting deforested pretty quickly. Because this was all forest right here. What a beauty. What a beauty, this game. We can just put the last piece here. Woodcutter. That boy can get to working. And they turn these little bits of wood here. Hopefully logs, right? I think. Oh, they just fell trees. General. Okay. And here we are. We have the establishment of Kuntberg ready to go. And the goal now is to level up these Burgish plots. So it's going to take four wood. It's going to take a lot of labor. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Episode one. What a lovely game. What an amu amazing, amazing game. There's so much to do. I look forward to it. We have this whole map to conquer. We can build a lot. And there's research points too. So we can actually go down different routes. So I think that there's better and more efficient things to do so like let's do that i think that we had a point for that development points one because we got a certain achievement so now we'll have better berry foraging there is a fair amount of berries in this area so if they can pull every berry out of here that's good and then they can keep them stored in the granary and they shouldn't rot for the next season and we'll have a long long time to go before we get screwed our generic storage is full Excess goods are... Which, for which one? Log storage. Oh, well, yeah. That's, that's to be expected. Can you get that out of here? That's actually kind of annoying. 
Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.